Well, the right place at the right time. That is where an Oral Roberts University student says that he was last Monday when a woman was about to jump from the 71st Street Bridge. That's when he jumped into action. Two Works For You reporter Katie Wisely is live near 71st and South Elwood where the jumper was barely hanging on over the Arkansas River. Katie. Brian and Karen, good evening. Last Monday, a woman attempted to jump off this bridge here behind me when at the last minute, a group of men became her saving grace. Pulled my truck over really quick, hopped out, ran over there. There's no better place to tell this story than the prayer garden at ORU. See, she was in a place where she didn't feel loved and didn't feel cared for. A senior with a heart of gold sits on this bench. Luke Widener proved that last Monday. Somebody's holding her uh, through the fence. Widener was driving westbound on 71st Street when he saw a group of people holding on to someone at the edge of the bridge. She's on the outside of the rail. And the first three guys that got there already had her kind of pressed against the fence, but I think they were kind of trapped. All I could get out of my mouth was like, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Christy Slayman called 911. Little did she know her friend and fellow classmate was there. Uh, I just grabbed her right arm. The cyclist who got there first grabbed her left and we just got her over the fence. When they picked her up over the fence. She's back on the sidewalk. It took all but five minutes. I definitely, definitely think God was there. Five minutes to save a life. Being able to be a small part of showing her that there are people that love her and care for her and um, want to know her name. The soon to be police officer thankful someone was looking down answering prayers day by day. In Tulsa, Katie Wisely, Two Works for You.